Can you hear the weather? Thunder outside? I'm scared. Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope this thunder that you maybe can hear during the video doesn't bother you. I'm kind of scared right now because I hate when it's that bad weather outside but I need to film and um, my house is safe so let's continue. Well today I'm going to do a first impression and makeup look with this gorgeous palette and I'm talking about Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I really really like how it looks and I really like the videos and swatches and makeup look looks that I saw on YouTube, Instagram. Now not everyone loves this palette but most people do or that I've seen. And this is Morphe and Jack and Hill eyeshadow palette. The only thing that I think it could be better, not the, that it doesn't have the mirror, it's because it doesn't have names printed in the palette. And I think it's not only with this palette, but it's with a lot of palettes. And it kind of bothers me when brands don't put the names of the eyeshadows in the palette itself but I will probably attach this here so I'm going to try and use this palette for the first time now I won't I'm sorry but I won't do swatches of the whole palette why no I won't do that but I will swatch a couple of them you already ha have seen a lot of swatch videos and I think it's better if I just do a makeup look and first impression using it on my eyes today. And let's just swap, swatch a couple of shades. Let's swatch Silk Cream. And it's kind of neut neutral beige. Ooh, they're very soft. And let's take a darker one. Let's do Pooter. 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 This one is beautiful. Let's take this creamsicle. I hope I pronounced that right. Let's put it here. They, they are very pigmented, very soft, nice eyeshadows. Now, I've never used or I don't own any other Morphe palette. Not because I don't like Morphe brand, it's just because I never got those palettes. My sister had a couple of them and I did swatch to play with them a little bit at her place. I never put them on my eyes though but I did swatch them and felt how they feel and I like the pigmentation. I don't just I really don't know why I never bought any of the palettes. I will probably do that in the future. Uh, I was kind of interested of buying those God it sounds terrible. Okay let's take this darker one jazz, jazz put it here well this one didn't swatch the best but it's nice and let's take some shimmery oh i need to i want to tweak tweak this blue one i just did one swatch the second oh this one is cute in green and it's called Jada nice it feels nice so let's just do a makeup look so I did my primer now with my 24 hour photo finish primer from Smashbox and then I just take, took this uh, Lacombe La Base and I set all of that primer with the first shade in this palette and it's called in light beginning it was a little bit powdery and it kind of grabbed to a couple of places on my eyes uh, dry places but it did blend it well so we'll see let's take another one let's take the third shade silk cream and my take it to my crease and my crease is up here I have hooded eyes okay 
Let's take a dark one and uh, take this butter shade to define my crease a little bit more. Mm, this one is beautiful. Okay, and let's then go into this shade Roxanne. Back with the blending brush and just blend. They blend very nice together. Nice palette. Should I stop filming or continue? I'm kind of confused. <sighs> I'll continue. Okay, let's take this darker brown and it's called the Mocha. I like this one. And pop that here. Let's then take, not the black one, but this very dark Central Park and it's and this one here. I do like this one. Ooh, that's pigmented. Okay, back with this blending brush and blend. Okay, I think this looks nice. Let's take, I think I want to, I don't know what would I would use. I think I would use the gold one. I would probably use the gold one. Now my fingers are dirty. Let's take a brush to apply that. And I will do, use this from uh, Naked 3 palette, this flat side. And I won't use Fix Plus just to see how it will go on my. Oh! Look at this shine with no Fix Plus. I like that. I like that a lot. Guys, I can't believe how pigmented this shade is without Fix Plus. Look at this. She really did an amazing job with this palette. And now I'm kind of thinking, should I order more Morphe palettes? Definitely. Okay, I think I would use my finger and take this um, central park again and just put this here. Then let's go with this blue shade. This looks cute. Then I'm going to use this royalty, kind of shimmery purple color. And then I think I will use, okay, use this brush and take this second beam shade, pop that here. Can you see it? Nice. 
and just highlight my eyebrow. And I think I want to use this shade Obsessed a little bit in the center of my eye just to see how that will work. Beautiful. Okay, my light is kind of weird because it's very bad weather outside, but I'm going to fill in my eyebrows because they look like a disaster and put some mascara on and I will be right back. So guys, my this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. There, these shade eyeshadows are very easy to blend, very easy to build up, and I'm impressed how uh, these shimmery shades are pigmented without any fix plus. Now I do have a couple of things that I don't like about this palette. It's it's beautiful white, but it's already dirty. I already have like shade eyeshadows and uh, doesn't look very clean but it's her palette and it's cute now I love these shades really really love them I can make so many different makeup looks with this palette I'm definitely going to use this a lot now I have a lot of favorite palettes you know me palette junkie I love eyeshadow palettes and this is the palette I really really enjoy right now and I'm of course going to use it a lot and also one thing I don't I don't like this I mean I'm happy to have names but I'm going to lose this so I need, think I'm going to put it maybe here on the back or inside I think inside it's much better when I do tutorial tutorials so you can hear what I'm saying so I'm going to put this in here so I have it with me all the time but that was everything I had for you today. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this video. If you do, give a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!